What's up America? Neil here from Jaga Firearms Academy. Today we're going to talk about the reality of an actual self-defense scenario with a pistol. So let's be honest, uh, we're not going to be mugged or attacked at seven yards. This is going to happen up close and personal when they're already in our space. Uh, maybe they, we've failed already in multiple accounts with our situational awareness, not paying attention to their surroundings, and now someone's already gotten to our personal space. And it's pretty obvious that they are going to do some serious bodily harm or death to you. And so now your only option is to defend yourself with lethal force. And if that's the case, we're going to be up close and personal. Now, obviously at this distance, I can't draw my pistol out and come up close because I'm basically giving it to my attacker or I'm at least going to get into a struggle here. Odds of this being successful for me are very slim. So let's talk about how we can increase the percentages in our favor. Okay, so first and foremost, what we're going to have to do is keep our weapon as close to us as we possibly can. We want to be able to retain that. And in this particular case, distance is going to be our friend. I don't want to get close. I want to be further away. They're already, in they're already in closing on us when they're trying to strike us or stab us or whatever the case may be. So the first thing I want to do if this person's coming up to me is I want to create as much space as I can. Obviously, I don't want to turn around and run away. But what I want to do immediately is blade my body away because this is where my weapon is going to be. As you can see, I'm wearing my standard in the waistband uh, concealed carry holster that I carry every single day. Okay, normally my shirt would be over this, but for this video, I want you to be able to see this clearly. So once again, what we're going to be doing here with our hands up is we're going to be blading our bodies away. This gives me more distance from my firearm so that when I present my firearm, I'm not going to be out here where it can be grabbed. Now, keep in mind, worst case scenario, this person may be already trying to strike. So with my support hand, what I'm going to do is use this to protect myself, whether it's covering myself for a blow, or if I'm here ready to stop the strike that's coming in. But I want to be able to have use of this hand while I'm still able to get my firearm and put shots on target. So let's see what that looks like. All right, so I'm gonna put my hands up in a defensive stance and also a, a submissive, like, hey, I don't want any trouble, but I still have my hands if I need to. Once again, the first thing I'm gonna do, step back, cover myself and take my shot. It's gonna look like this. So let's look at this now, we'll break it down a bit. Again, my hands are up, and so I can use it to defend myself. The next thing I'm gonna do is blade my body away. Now, as my hand comes up, this is a default for me. I like this position, one, it protects the back and the top of my head, but two, this is a very solid uh, base for me to take strikes if I need to. At this point, at the same time that I come back, I'm already reaching back for my firearm. So it's one step, and now as you notice my gun, is canted away from my body and towards the target. So I'm already on target. I can fire from right here just as you just saw. From this point on, if I have to, after I've taken a shot, if I can create more space, I will. I'll come back even further. Meet my hands, continuing to shoot if I need to. Further coming back and extending, coming into a more uh, accurate shooting position. So the whole point of this whole scenario here is taking that first critical shot up close and personal three feet or less. This is reality. This is where the bad things are going to happen to us. So we need to be proficient at being able to shoot without having to come up and getting a proper sight alignment and sight picture in this. It's impossible. And we also have to protect ourselves at the same time. All right, so let's kind of look at this with the reality of me actually being able to move now. So I'm going to take multiple shots in progression as I get further away. So again, it's going to look like this. Hey, don't want any trouble. All right, the next part is that this left hand may be doing something other than blocking. I might be moving uh, family members, strangers, small children one out of the way while I'm deploying my weapon system. So that's going to look something like this. All right, guys, I hope you found this very helpful for you. Once again, I want to make it very clear that none of the videos that I make are here to replace any type of actual training. You need to find a competent instructor and seek out training. But what I do want to demonstrate is some of the practices and tactics that uh, you will learn as you progress in your self-defense training. These are things that will save your life in the worst possible scenario. If you like what you see, go ahead and give me a thumbs up or a like. Go ahead and subscribe. You'll get notified when new videos come out. Until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6.